Welcome back to the workshop. How are you guys doing today? Today we are taking the second bow that I ever made which is rubbish by the way, and we're going to turn it into a powerful, reflexed, sinewed back weapon. that this bow is not very good is because there is a crack in the back of the limb and as you saw I tried to repair it with no success but I did not draw the bow back all the way to where it would break completely so I am thinking that if we send you back the back of this bow then where the crack is will become the middle where there is very little to no stress on that part of the limb and we may just get an awesome bow out of this another interesting fact about this bow is how many knots are on it. And what's interesting also is that the side with all the knots is not the side that cracked, but the side that cracked was the side with no knots. Our first steps for this bow is gonna be reshaping the limbs. We're gonna take it down quite a bit, make it a lot shorter of a bow, and get it to the shape that I want. And then we're gonna reflex the limbs, then we're gonna send you back it, then retailer it, then do final touching, and we're gonna make this piece of junk, this piece of Osage, that I stained into something more beautiful than it is now. And, and we're gonna make it a lot more functional than it is now. Let's get right to it and let's not waste any time and let's have some fun. This is what it's all about, using the absolute necessities when making bows. change of plans time. I started bending the limb and this wood is as brittle as I'll get out. It started cracking just by bending it that much and it was plenty hot. I know I wasn't forcing it at all. So we're going to experiment with this bow instead of recurving and making the awesome weapon we would wanted to. But we're going to make that awesome weapon with a different piece of wood. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to experiment with this. We might try a cool backing. I'm going to just reflex that side now and uh, we're gonna have fun doing it. We're gonna try to learn something. So let's continue. We've almost 
it's got this too hot enough to be able to bend it and it's been a really good challenge for me to use all of these old first bows I made and try to make them into something that works. It's actually more challenging than it is to even start with a brand new stave because you're having messed up some flaws in my case to work around. So when it's almost too hot to the touch you should be good so let's go over and uh, bend it now. And we're just trying to match the reflex on the other limb. Uh -oh. About right there should be good. And then once this cools off here, we're going to profile the limbs up to the way we like it. And then we're going to put a cool backing on it. What are you thinking? Did you not just build a bow with fiberglass tape on the back of it and break it? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did just build a bow with fiberglass on the back of it and break it. But you know what? Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this bow that I made that broke has two layers of fiberglass tape. And this bow has seven layers of fiberglass tape. My idea is that by adding more layers of this drywall fiberglass tape, it'll turn this bow backing from a soft backing to like a hard backing and actually provide some mass. And so when you look at this bow, you can see there's a thick layer of fiberglass tape because I added seven layers. Now this may not work and that's why I'm experimenting with this, but I really think we might get a good result by adding so many layers of fiberglass tape, hopefully almost like adding a whole strip of fiberglass because that's basically what it is. I might be crazy, well in, in fact I know I am in some areas, but, but I think, I think I might be able to get away with this one and if I can try this then you guys don't have to. And so we're going to experiment with this, see if this sucker will work out for me. We're going to experiment with this and act like the fiberglass tape was like sinew. We're going to see how strong this stuff actually is, especially when you add more layers on. Because this stuff is really cheap to get. So if this works out, it's going to be super cool because we're going to have a new bow backing that we can use in so many different situations. All in all, I'm excited to see how this bow turns out. But that's going to be it for today. If you want to see how this one turns out, you're going to have to come back Sunday. We're going to finish this bow on Sunday. And then We've got some really, really cool stuff coming up. Uh, another collaboration, so I hope you guys are ready for this one. It's an awesome one. But for today, that's gonna be it. So thank you for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day.